Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergi. Life in the Middle East is difficult and unpredictable nowadays, with war and terrorism and religious tensions skyrocketing. Many point fingers at the United States and, to a lesser extent, Britain for having caused this, because their sloppy handling of the situation made things even worse in Iraq and gave rise to the Islamic State. But if this hadn't happened, things in the Middle East and around the world could be quite different. Make sure to make your opinion known in the comments section. This is a large and nuanced issue, and I look forward to some interesting discussions. Now it's time to ask the question, what if we never captured Saddam Hussein? There are two main ways to interpret this question. The first is, what if we invaded Iraq but were unable to find Saddam Hussein? The other is, what if we never invaded Iraq and therefore never captured him? In the former case where we still went into Iraq but failed to capture Saddam, he would likely have remained in hiding. The war would follow a similar path and things would look rather similar to how they look today. For this reason, this video will be answering the latter question where we didn't capture Saddam Hussein because we didn't invade Iraq in the first place. Let's take a page out of Julie Andrews' book and start at the very beginning. Saddam Hussein was the fifth president of Iraq, serving in office from 1979 to 2003. In this time, there were reports of terrible acts being committed by him and his government, torturing and killing thousands, even imprisoning a whole village because a group attacked him there. Iraq was eventually invaded by Western governments under suspicion of holding weapons of mass destruction, and Saddam was captured in 2003 and executed for crimes against humanity in 2006. But what if there was no war and Saddam had remained in power. Without the intervention from the West, life in Iraq would likely continue along a similar path to previous decades. They would probably once again become the oil trading nation they had been. Trade with the US might be in the cards, which would help a great deal, particularly if certain sanctions were lifted. In terms of sanctions, the West was in a tough spot with Iraq. They were inclined to increase sanctions to force Hussein to relax his policies, but were reluctant to do so since these sanctions mainly punish the people of Iraq. If the invasion didn't happen, there's a good chance that the sanctions may have been modified in an attempt to reel Hussein in, or to protect his people. That said, if Hussein found a way to deal with the Western threat and was able to pull the country back up economically, there's a good chance that he would remain in power and continue to commit the atrocities he was known for throughout his reign. The people of Iraq would still be living under a tyrant. However, considering many Iraqis in 2017 claimed to have preferred the days of Saddam, the relative stability under the tyrant may have been favorable. This leads many to believe that life in Iraq would be better now without the Iraq war. It should be noted, however, that this sentiment is not shared by all. Those directly affected by Hussein's brutality tend to be less eager for his return. This wouldn't only change life in Iraq though, things would change in the US as well. First of all, the many lives and nearly two trillion dollars lost during the war would not have been lost, something that everyone can agree is a good thing. Furthermore, the Iraq war was a source of a great deal of political unrest. Without the invasion, there wouldn't be the constant arguing and positioning around the subject. Finally, and perhaps most pertinently to the world, many argue that ISIS would not have found the power it currently has if Iraq hadn't been invaded. This is a fairly contentious subject. Some believe that ISIS would have come to be anyway since it arguably originated before the invasion of Iraq, and others argue that Al-Qaeda would have simply filled the extremist hole. However, it's more or less undeniable that the Iraq war contributed greatly to the rise of ISIS, with many prominent members of Al-Qaeda joining the group. Some of Hussein's ex-commanders even helped out, training and professionalizing the ISIS military to allow them to stand up against the Iraqi army, which was already weakened by the US. If we hadn't invaded and captured Saddam Hussein, Hussein, there's a good chance that ISIS would be significantly weaker now, or may have been dissolved years ago. This is one of the most significant implications since it affects so many countries. With a weaker Islamic State, acts of Islamic terrorism would likely be less prevalent. This could lower the tension and prejudice against those of Middle Eastern descent in the Western world. Not only that, but without the influence of ISIS in Syria, there may have been far fewer Syrians seeking refuge in the Western world. This immigration has caused a great deal of strain and brought out an ugly side in a number of people fearful for their safety. If Saddam's state in power, it could be that the effects of ISIS in the Western world would be quite a bit less severe. And now we return to our question, what if we never captured Saddam Hussein? Well, the changes could be pretty significant not only in Iraq, but around the world. Life in Iraq would likely remain fairly similar to how it was before the invasion, and while the regime was brutal, many would have preferred it to the current system. There's also a good chance that without the Iraq invasion, Syria would be in a better place, terrorism would be less prevalent, and tension between the West and the Middle East would be greatly reduced. As it stands, we'll have to learn to live with the decision and take solace in the fact that the evil dictator won't be personally harming anyone else. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative. This is an important topic and it's far more complex than can be expressed in 5 minutes, so hopefully this has inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. While you're down there, let me know if you think the world would be a better place without the Iraq War. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Life's Biggest Questions, wishing you the best of luck on your quest for answers.